One of the things we try to do on the News at 11 is get a megaphone to communities who need a bit of a signal boost. And tonight, we're focusing on wards 7 and 8 in D.C. We've told you there's a lack of grocery stores in that area, but there's also a lack of sit-down restaurants. And John Henry is exploring the plans to change that reality. Oh, no, I got you. We met ANC Commissioner Salim Adolfo, where the Ward 8 Farmers Market sets up shop in the summer. It was a fitting location given the topic of our interview, his community's fight to gain better access to food. You see, Ward 8 lacks more than grocery stores. Its 70,000 residents don't have many restaurants to choose from either. In Ward 8, there are uh, three sit-down restaurants. Compare that to 14th Street Northwest, where between R and U Streets on Quick Glance, we found nine different places where you could sit down and eat. That disparity is exactly why Adolfo took time today to testify in support of a council bill that would provide incentives for restaurants to set up shop in Ward 7 and 8. Councilman Treyon White co-sponsored the measure that would offer startup grants and loan financing to support new eateries. We have to do more with what we have to entice other businesses to come. In a year's time, Ward 8 has seen one restaurant come and another go. But Adolfo believes if passed, this bill could really help the economy east of the river. Hungry customers and prospective service workers would no longer have to leave their communities. And when we take our money outside of the community in which we live, we help build up somebody else's community. He also says more restaurants would simply give locals more places to meet up, another important potential benefit. That helps build a community, that helps build a neighborhood. And in the end, that's all Adolfo wants, a stronger, healthier community. John Henry, WUSA 9.